One of the conspiracy theories that just won't seem to quit is this idea that's out there that the government is spraying chemicals out of the backside of airplanes to control the population or change the climate or test weapons or infuse us all with Viagra or create a race of half human, half monkey hybrids. I don't know, there's a lot of different theories. It's easy to generate all these different theories when you have no evidence to base any of this on. And that idea is out there, and it's called chemtrails, these uh, contrails in the air of white evaporated materials and that sort of thing. People believe there are sinister uh, uh, backgrounds to it. A lot of people, a lot of people believe that these are real. In fact, 17% of respondents back in 2011 in an international survey said they believed the existence of a secret large-scale atmospheric spraying program to be true or partly true. 17%, that is literally millions and millions of Americans, believing that it exists without any evidence whatsoever. However, it turns out that people reading conspiracy theory websites aren't the only ones with information to bear on this subject. There are actually scientists who study this sort of thing, who study the atmosphere, and now there's a study to leverage their expertise. The study, published by Environmental Research Letters, found that the two groups of experts surveyed, atmospheric chemists who specialize in condensation trails, and geochemists working on atmospheric deposition of dust and pollution overwhelmingly rejected the notion that such a program exists. Out of 77 participating scientists, 76 said they found zero evidence of a secret spraying program, adding that any evidence supposedly cited by those who subscribe to the chemtrail theory could be explained away by poor data sampling and or normal contrails. There was one guy who said that he found too much barium in one area at one point, and so he co couldn't totally rule it out. The other 76 were fairly sure about this. And here is all too often what we find, that you have a group of people who have studied for years or decades in an area, understand how information is gathered, they understand the field, and then there are other people looking in from the inside and suspecting that things are there which actually are not. And as in so many other cases, that is the case here. These people study this stuff. They are contrails. That's all they are. They're water vapor. They're not Viagra. They're not a weapon. They're not changing the climate. And the person who, one of the people involved in the study, uh, talked a little bit about why they felt this was necessary at this point, saying, I felt it was important to definitively show what real experts in contrails and aerosols think. We might not convince diehard believers that their beloved secret sp spraying program is just a paranoid fantasy, but hopefully their friends will accept the facts. And if I seem a little bit harsh, or if Ken there seems a little bit harsh, it's because believing in theories like this not only leads to a generalized sense of distrust in the government, but you should have that distrust aimed in the right direction. And if you're too focused on contrails to notice the very real sorts of corruption going on in government, then your passion and your vigor and your ability to change things is going to be spent in the wrong areas. And I agree with him. Even with this evidence, even with all the climate scientists and the aerosol studies and the deposition people and all of that, there are some who will not be convinced, either by this evidence or the fact that for the chemtrail theory to exist, for the conspiracy to have existed, it would involve literally thousands or tens of thousands of people operating in every state in the country over the course of decades under both Republican and Democratic administrations, from the people at the very top making the decision to spray us with all these chemicals, to the mechanics and grunts on the ground who'd be loading up the planes on a daily basis, all of whom these days have smartphones and could easily document evidence of it, and yet all of these people over the course of decades have mysteriously and inhumanly been able to keep the secret. It doesn't actually exist, but hopefully some people will be swayed by this new evidence, and that's my final judgment.